sequencing skills with the book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. In this video, we will examine sequencing skills, how to provide opportunities for your child to learn sequencing from listening to books read aloud to him or her. Excerpt from We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Michael Rosen and Helen Oxenberry. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day, we're not scared. Oh, grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. Oh no, we must go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. The family in We're Going on a Bear Hunt goes through the grass, a river, the mud, a forest, a snowstorm, and a cave on their hunt for the infamous bear. Children's books like this bring attention to the reading skill of sequencing. Sequencing is the ability to put the events of a story in the order of which they occurred. So when you read aloud to your child, he or she hears the sequence of the story's events. After the family goes through the river, what do they have to go through next? The mother asks her three-year-old tot. Mud! And what comes after the mud? The mother keeps prodding. I don't remember. The cave? He asks. Let's find out. She responds, leafing over to the next page. Reading aloud to your child on a regular basis enables him or her to keep story events organized in a sequential pattern as you progress through the plot. Asking what happens next will keep your child anticipating the next event and strengthening his or her sequencing skills. Reviewing the events of what has happened halfway through a story is another great way for your child to practice sequencing. Reviewing the events of what has happened halfway through a story is that way of being able to do that practicing of sequencing. And using words like first, second, third can also reinforce these ordering skills. Books like We're Going on a Bear Hunt actually have this sequential review built into them. Sequencing is important for early learners because the logical order of thinking is fundamental to reading and everyday life. Children who hear the story and grow familiar with putting story events in their chronological order will have a significant advantage when they begin reading. To learn more, visit slowandsteadygetmeReadyforkindergarten.com.